Whoso regarded dreams is like unto him that catches a shadow and follows after the wind. What would you say if you saw a man like chasing a shadow? Something wrong with him. That's what, see, and, and the Christian church always told us, God said, God said this, I had a dream. So we look for our dreams to mean so when God had already told us, he turned his back on us right now until we come back seeking him. And when we come back seeking him, following this word, that's when he's going to come back and answer our prayers. So the Israelites is the nation. The tribes are the different tribes within the nation. Okay? So now we get established where the Israelites. All right, Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah 1 and 3. Because what? These two images over here, who who believes? Who knows what this is? Who can tell me? It's a white man. You say just a white man? You, you know what yes, this is? The what, what society portrayed as what Jesus Okay, the society. My brother, you know who this is? That's the one portraying. Okay. I'll get to you just a second. Let me get to deal with these scissors and I'll deal with you. So y'all don't believe in his image, but do y'all believe in the spirit that he comes with? His spirit. All right, do y'all believe in his spirit? Right, he's saying it's the spirit that counts, but however, if the spirit was kind of Matthew 5, 17. embedded into something that was fake, how is it like so? Right, so everything that revolves around him, Y'all gotta know it's been a lie. Right. So if he comes and says, Christ came and done, with our, done away with our sins, so now we can sin, that's what he came with. Let's see what the real black Messiah said. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter five and verse 17. Think not. Jesus Christ said what? Think not. So whatever he's about to say after this, he's telling you, don't think that I come to do this. Read that again. Think not. He says, don't think that, what, read? That I am come to destroy the law. He says, don't think for one second that I'm coming here for you to sin. Right. I did not come to this planet to, for you to have a license to fornicate. For you to have a license to be a drunkard. I did not come for you to sin. Because in his last days, many false prophets will go out and teach lies. Read. Right. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Uh -huh. Or the prophets. Or what any of the prophets wrote. Read. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. So you will hear fulfill, and white man Jesus is gonna tell you, fulfill means, oh, that means he, he did it, so I, I can do it now. Right. That's a lie. Fulfill means you come to do what was written about you in the past. Let's right. get some, what, what Jesus was written about in the past that he came to fulfill. Psalms 22 and verse 16, I think. When he said, I'm coming to fulfill, that a prophet wrote that he was gonna do something, and when he came, he did that. That, you guys understand? That's what he's coming to the field. Wow. Uh, you got what I have? Read that, 16. The book of Psalms, chapter 22 and verse 16. Uh -huh. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. Uh -huh. They have pierced my hands and my feet. This is written by King David. Did King David get his hands and feet pierced? Yeah. Who was he talking about? Jesus. So this oh. is what he means he come to fulfill. He did not come to fulfill people to sin. The reason why this man pushes that because what? Once, Judas 5 and 20, once the people on this side realize that you must keep God's commandments, this captivity, it's over. Right. Christ comes back and saves only these people and we go back to our land, we rule the entire planet. Right. They know this, they read our Bible. So they're gonna come, hey, you can sin, You're, it's all good in Christ Jesus, all right? You can do, you don't have to keep his holy days, you know what I'm saying, you had a question? So when he showed you a dream of him coming back, you're supposed to believe what's written, my sister. Okay. 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 And you said like a regular cloud? A big huge cloud. Okay. Um, everyone around the world seems the same thing. So, once, um, once we all got up to the clouds, I looked down and I seen some people I knew, and they were still down there. What was like, going on down there? The ground busted fire. It just busted fire? Yeah. Okay, we'll get to that. But my sister, what I'm here to tell you, get, get John 9. Hey, give me some rock 34 and 1. This is okay, sis, because the Bible prophesied to us that, um, Christ, um, what we're going to do is so much more amazing than what our ancestors did because we're going to do it without seeing miracles. We're going to do it without having visions. 
We're going to do these things just by having his word in our hand. Well, read that for me. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. What did God just say? But yeah, he's going to leave us and return to his place till they do what? So they acknowledge what we did to offend him. Watch this. And seek my face. In their affliction. In their what? In their affliction, they shall seek me early. What do you think we're going through right now? We're going through affliction. He said in our affliction, that's when we'll start seeking him. What? So I'm going to show you what the Bible says about those who have dreams. And it's okay. Because this is what the Bible tells us to lean on this Bible. Watch this. Give me that Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5. This is why, this is why his response to you was, Follow the Bible. Don't follow your dream. And I'm going to show you what it says about that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Three. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lead not unto thine own understanding. God said trust in him with all your heart. Where is God's word at? In the Bible. So whatever it says in this Bible, that's what's going to happen. What? Even if you dream something, if your dream don't go 100% or 100% according to the Bible, God ain't going to gonna let his word fall short. His word going to happen exactly as he wrote it down to show how true he is. Because as he wrote it, that's what's going to happen. Um, now, go back to um, Sirach 34. Now, I'm going to show you something about them dreams. Watch this. The book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 1. The hopes, of, the hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false. And dreams lift up fools. And do what? And dreams lift up fools. Who shall regard the dreams is like unto, is like unto him. That catch it, a sin that mm. who's, who so regarded dreams. It's like him that catches a shadow and follow after that wind. So, is it, is it wise to go chase a shadow? That's what God said about chasing a dream. Read it again. Read that part again. Who so who so regarded dreams is like unto him that catches a shadow and follows after the wind. What would you say if you saw a man out there chasing a shadow? Something wrong with him. That's what, see, and the Christian church always told us, God said, God said this, I had a dream. So we look for our dreams to mean so when God had already told us, he turned his back on us right now until we come back seeking him. And when we come back seeking him, following this word, that's when he's going to come back and answer our prayers. And I'm going to show you that. Hold on. Let me finish this, then I, I answer your question. I got, I got this. Verse 3, the vision of dreams and the, is the resemblance of one thing, as um, well of a one thing to another. Even as the likeness of a face to face, of an unclean thing, that which can be cleansed, and from that which is false, what truth can come? So, what you gonna say, sis? Christ is coming back for us, sis. I, I wasn't saying that. Your, what I'm telling you is don't put no faith in your dream. Put your faith in this Bible. Because if anywhere in your dream it went off from what this Bible says, you're going to be led wrong. What? Give me that in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12. This, yeah. That's why I read you about the dreams. Don't lean on the dream when God didn't gave you a whole, he didn't gave you a whole instruction manual. I saw that, <laughs> but he was letting me see that it's real. Okay. That he is actually coming back. Okay, watch this, sis. The book of Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12. The way which is the way which seemeth. Take your time, brother. Take your time. We're not in the rush, all right? Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. The Bible says there's a way that seemeth right. That's that why I'm not attacking you, sis. I don't want you to take it that I'm attacking you. I'm trying to show you that the, what you're doing is you're, 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 you're putting your hopes and dreams on your dream as opposed to what this Bible says. I'm not, like I say, I'm not going against your dream, sis. What I'm trying to tell you is what the Bible says. And that's what we should be leaning on at all times because this is the way you can make sure you ain't wrong. Somebody, somebody could dream one thing and somebody could dream something else and y'all come back and argue over dreams. But you can't argue over this word. Yes, Give me 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse, um, um, I mean 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 11. I'm going to show you how God instructs us to carry ourselves. Watch this, sis. And that's all we're trying to show. Because the truth has been so void from our people for so long, we don't know the ways. So we look to dreams. We look to religion. We look to politics. We look for solutions. But the answer's been right in our hands the whole while. Watch this. The book of 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. If any man speak, if what? If any man speak, 
let him speak as the oracles of God. So the Bible said, if any of us speak, we got to speak of the oracles of God. Yes, Where's the oracles of God found? In this Bible. What? So what we're teaching you, sis, is a safe way to make sure you don't fall into sin. Right. If you follow your dream, you may have a dream that's almost spot on with the word. But that next dream may be 100% against the word. Right. Don't lean on your dream, sis. Lean on this word, which is consistent. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.